Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0 Day 15. So we are in contacts once again today, and today I want to teach you about custom fields. So custom fields, you have the ability to create these for your contacts. And I kind of think of custom fields as a piece of information that I want to be able to see very easily. Um, and yet may change or may be different from contact to contact. So um, we're gonna walk through a couple of different examples here, but you can see custom fields, we have the ability when we edit a contact, we can come down to add more information and custom, and we can access custom fields this way in editing a contact. We can actually go in and add a new contact, and when we add a new contact, we'll have that same option add contact here and then you can see add more information and the ability to add custom fields down here at the bottom if you don't have any custom fields set up you basically would start off by clicking on add custom field and it's going to tell you do you want to select one you've already created or do you want to create a new custom field now obviously i've done this video a couple of times and so i've already created some custom fields in here um, my old team, we used to do a Pi Day three times a year, and we would have clients that would come for multiple years. Um, and so it was always a good thing for us to know their Pi choice so that we would call to confirm that they were coming. We could say, hey, Mr. Smith, it's Marty Miller with CTEM Cell at that point. Uh, just wanted to make sure you were going to come by, you know, Tuesday before Thanksgiving to pick up your apple pie. It's just a higher level of customer service because I already know Mr. Smith likes apple pie. Um, other examples that you might have for custom fields, and you can see when you create one, let's just create a test custom field. I'm just going to put in test there, and I can click on create the custom field. Well, here you see the custom label name, and then you can see the different types of custom fields that you can select. So this is pretty cool. Text field, text area, as I understand, it's the same character count, although text field typically only shows on one line, while text area may be multiple lines of text. Uh, there's a drop down so that's what i used for the pi day one i basically created a drop down and then you basically put here you know apple comma space right and then uh, peach comma space pecan comma space pumpkin etc so you can see it kind of gives you an idea separate items with a comma down here at the bottom for a drop down you also have date Right, you have text. Uh, I'm sorry, we did those checkbox number, URL, percentage, and currency. So, several other, other different opportunities there. Uh, we're actually doing our ALC retreat today for KW Platinum, and we've been spending a lot of time talking about building our profit share tree and, um, you know, kind of helping build the market center. And so, I was thinking that text field might be a great box if I was putting in agents that I had done transactions with previously. I don't want to create 25 different tags for all of the possible different brokerages or more that these agents could be working with and yet i could create a text field that was just called right let's get rid of this and let's create a new custom field and it would be brokerage name all right so i could create that custom field that's just going to be a simple text field and i'm going to click on create all right and so that's now created the custom field and so then, oh, I'm sorry, I have to click done. And then there's the field. And so I could type in the brokerage name. Um, I don't know, whatever, re max grand, right? And then click on create. And that contact is not going to let me create because I actually need a first name. But let's just put in uh, five A's. All right, there we go. So now you can see in this contact record, when we pull it up, it's easily accessible. I have that information at the tip of my fingertips. I can just scroll down, and when I get down to the bottom, here's that custom field, brokerage name, Remax Grand. I know that we've talked about notes and adding notes. However, notes are gonna be a part of this timeline, and they are pushed down as different things start to happen. So it's nice to have that custom field because I don't have to scroll through an entire you know, list of things that are happening here on the right-hand side, right? You can imagine scrolling, 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 I just have to scroll down just a little bit to get down to my custom field and see that very easily within the contact record. So lots of different options available, obviously lots of different ways that you could apply this to your business and uh, really utilize it to the fullest level by creating 
You can even have various custom fields, right? Have multiple custom fields within each contact record and then just decide whether you're gonna use that or not. If they're not a past client, they're not coming to Pi Day, I don't need to worry about their Pi choice. Um, if they might be a future buyer or seller, I've had some agents that I know send pizza on the day of closing or the weekend after closing because they know how chaotic it can be moving into a house. And so if early on in the buyer process you found out their favorite you know, pizza choices, then you could do that. It might be um, if they drink, right? What's their favorite wine? Uh, if they are a sports fan, what's their favorite sports team? So that way if you're sending out sports calendars or anything along those lines. Um, kids' names, you know, there's a variety of different things that you could put in those custom fields. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, a fantastic Friday. Looking forward to an amazing weekend. And as always, I will look forward to speaking with you in the morning. Thanks so much.